Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Sunday Night Football. The Chargers head to Vegas to take on the Raiders. I waited for the exact last moment to put out this video so we can tell what's going on between the Colts and Jaguars. You're going to be shocked at what I've uncovered here. Stick around. Hello, and we are back. Once again, I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Sunday Night Football. Herbert and the Chargers head to the desert to take on Carr and the Raiders. And I know in the beginning of the video, I said you're going to be shocked at what I uncovered here. I I'm just trying to tap into all those folks who love the murder mysteries or those crime serial killer documentaries uh, on streaming uh, platforms because, well, shocked, I mean, it's the Chargers playing Vegas. I guess the only shock and awe would would be at the moment of this recording, Jacksonville is beating Indianapolis 23, uh, 23 or 24 to, to 6 or something like that. So as it stands now, are we uh, on pace to watch these two teams just kneel down 15 times apiece and walk out of their tied 0-0 and boom, they both make the playoffs. In all reality, I don't ever see that happening because these two teams, uh, they cannot stand each other. It's an AFC West clash. And as you can tell, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs have won that division. It's a tough, tough thing here. Kansas City, Chargers, and Vegas. And look, Chargers aren't going away anytime soon, not with Herbert at the helm here. But let's talk about the game from a DFS perspective. Before we do that, just make sure you go to Team Riser Fall. Use promo code 2022. You're going to get 50% off your first month of purposes. Oh, and the Discord here at Team Riser Fall has always been free, but they've implemented like a, a premium chat here, which is just like me or any of the other coaches hanging out in any of the sports, you know, baseball, hockey, uh, football, basketball, like an hour before lock answering questions or giving out lineup advice. So to me, it's it's just a, it's a no brainer. I've been saying it all year, but Team Riser Fall has it all going on when it comes to, to premium DFS services. And I, I say premium, it, it, I also hesitate to say that because this video that you're watching right now is 100% free. Bottom of the barrel is 100% free. So the here at Team Riser Fall, uh, they provide a service. They provide value to you if you're into DFS or just sports betting in general. Make sure you use promo code 2022, and I'll see you in the Discord. Tag me. Say, hey, Chris, I'm here. Watch the video. It was outstanding. Now, you'll probably uh, wonder right now. You're probably like, dude, this guy is uh, out of control right now. He's hyped up. He's excited. Look, after the morning broadcasting commitments, I had to run around. I may have took a 20, 30 minute nap. So boom, I'm refreshed and ready to go. Let's talk about this one. Chargers at Vegas over under sits at about 49 points right now. And as we we dive into the video and I paint a picture here, uh, every single point of the over will happen. And I think, you know, fairly easy here. And last, last time I'm saying, I'll say it, unless they just decide to tie in this one, but it won't. It's a fun joke, but I think it's it's run its course. Let's be honest here. So, let's talk about the quarterbacks. Justin Herbert, Derek Carr, who do you want to mix and match here? Justin Herbert against the Raiders at home. Raiders are 7th overall against opposing quarterbacks. Herb, 17-5 on FanDuel, $11,400 on DraftKings, and in my notes, which, I, again, I don't even know why I have to say it, I will share a photo with these as soon as this video is, is out and published to you. I have Herbs around 23, 24 completions. I think 250, 260 is a nice safe floor for Herbert tonight. And I know this is this is outlandish to say, but so far so good. Kind of started to make a living off, you know, being outlandish or, or, or just giving my opinion, although it, it could be, uh, you know, extreme or not. But I think Herbert throws multiple touchdowns tonight. May, most importantly, around three here against the Vegas Raiders team who is it, it lacking, let's say, against running backs, right? But we'll get there against wide receivers, whole nother story. So let's uh, let let's quit. let me quit with the nonsense. I'm just excited. Sunday night football is a real treat here. So Herbert, 17-5 on FanDuel, 11-4 on DraftKings. Uh, I mean, if you're going to play in multi-entry GPPs, Justin Herbert has to be uh, the centerpiece. You have to build around Justin Herbert. But hey, Derek Carr, no slouch himself. The uh, Chargers, 14th overall against opposing quarterbacks here. Derek Carr, 
13 5 on FanDuel, and even 10 grand on DraftKings. 25, I have him for a few more completions than Herbert. You're looking at around 25 completions. I have him around 275, 280 ish passing yards, a couple carries, 10 15 yards, not much, and a, and a pair of touchdown passes. So the difference between these two is that you're looking at literally a, a touchdown. I know what when you say a difference of a touchdown is a big thing here, but based on the price tag, in a way, would it be weird if we prefer Derek Carr over Herbert? Because this guy, Carr, uh, has really just been very consistent as of late, all season, to be honest with you. So of the two, you know, Herbert is, is the centerpiece. He is the stud here. But Derek Carr makes for a nice move in flex or in, in captain MVP spots. When we talk about the wide receivers, it, it, it's Austin Eckler versus Josh Jacobs, right? And boom, we're done. We can move on. Hold on a moment. Austin Eckler against the 28th ranked uh, Vegas Raiders team against running backs here. Austin, 15 grand on FanDuel, $11,600 on DraftKings. I have Eckler for around 15 carries. I know that's wild because he does a lot, uh, you know, in terms of receiving the ball here, but I'm telling you now, this won't be the last time I mention it in the video here. These two teams are going to go all out. They're going to war. It's going to be a heavyweight fight here in the AFC West, and you're going to want all the studs here. Austin Eckler is one of those studs. 15, 16 carries, 70, 75 yards, five receptions on like six or seven targets for another 40 yards, and I think Eckler finds the end zone at least once, but if I have Herbert you know, throwing three touchdown passes, is does Herbert find the end zone again on the ground? Then how many touchdowns can Austin Eckler, you know, kind of accumulate here? It's the possibilities are endless, but you're not going to want to build your lineups this evening without Austin Eckler. One guy I want to mention briefly, it's not Joshua Kelly, it's Justin Jackson. 15 grand on Fandle. That seems a little high based on the fact that Austin Eckler is a full go here, but Justin Jackson, $5,200 on DraftKings. One thing I highlighted in my notes here, Justin Jackson is averaging about five. 5.3 yards a carry here. So I have Jackson around nine, maybe 10 carries in this one. So I just can't pull the trigger on a $15,000 price tag on FanDuel for Jackson. I mean, shoot, shoot, you're looking at, uh, you know, Austin Eckler. Maybe I got it wrong here. I'll have to double check these prices. That doesn't seem right to me, but I'm working it out as I go, basically live here uh, as I'm recording. So to me, it's all about Austin Eckler. Josh Kelly might get a little run here, only 200 bucks on DraftKings. When we talk about the Vegas Raiders running backs, uh, Josh Jacobs. He's, you know, boom, he's right there in front of us here. Chargers 27th overall against opposing running backs. So Josh Jacobs to me, 12 grand on FanDuel, $7,800 on DraftKings. You're looking at what, 17, 18 carries, 75 to 80 yards with ease for JJ here, four, maybe five receptions again in 30 yards. If, before we get to the wide receivers, let me say this. If you notice through the, the length of the season in these single game videos, I'm always a, a glass half full kind of guy. So if someone says, well, Jacobs, he'd be around 15 carries. I bump it up a little. I, I pump up these numbers a little bit because it's a single game slate. It should be exciting for us. So Josh Jacobs, 17, 18 carries, you know, a few, few, a month or two ago, that was a given. But now they're trying to implement a guy like Jalen Richard or Peyton Barber, who I want to stop on briefly. Peyton Barber, seven grand on FanDuel, only $1,000 on DraftKings. I have Barber, six, seven carries, 20, maybe maybe 30 yards and a couple receptions for an additional 10 or 15 yards here. Peyton Barber was an outstanding find for us, you know, in spots, you know, early on in the season. So again, all hands on deck in this game for both teams, and we're just going to watch them. It's going to be awesome and exciting. That's the, the whole excitement here as I'm recording this video. So when we talk about the wide receivers, Keenan Allen, Jalen Guyton, Zay Jones, uh, a, a few of the, the players I want to highlight here and actually highlighted in my notes and I know I know you know I know if, if that makes any sense. Keenan Allen, 12 grand on FanDuel, ten thousand four hundred dollars on DraftKings. Look Vegas Raiders third overall against opposing wide receivers, but it does does it some sometimes the DVP uh, it's it, it's whatever it doesn't matter. And when you get a guy like Herbert to Keenan Allen DVP, you, it's just, you just glance at it. You don't dig in and you don't go from there. To me, Keenan Allen 10, 11 targets, seven maybe eight receptions, well over seventy five yards. And if all falls in well, and I have Herbert for three maybe four touchdowns here, Keenan Allen is going to be on the end of one of those touchdown receptions. Mike Williams, Josh Palmer. You know, Mike, it was a, a nice little feel-good story to start the season. He's kind of 
I don't want to say tailed off here, but he's 11 grand on FanDuel. I just can't pull the trigger there. And on DraftKings, 7200 uh, $7, that, That's up to you. I'm uh, I'm not fading him completely, but he's not uh, he's not special to me tonight in terms of highlight. You know, talk about and a must own here. So that means you know seven eight targets, four or five receptions, 55 or 60 yards. It means maybe uh, Mike Williams will go nuts if you say that those vaunted words fade or I don't want anything to do with. Him. But look, I've never, I know a lot of folks that, that write and broadcast and they say, if I tell you to play that person, you have to do the opposite. I'd ha- I've had a lot of luck over the years where that doesn't, that, that, that stigma doesn't, uh, you know, drag me around. It doesn't follow me like the, the, the kid from peanuts with the, the dirt, the dirt cloud that always follows him around. Josh Palmer, very much in play here, but with a with a healthy Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, Palmer will be. I don't want to say Palmer will be an afterthought here, but you're looking at three, four targets, maybe two receptions, around 20 yards here. But when you look at the price tag, uh, it makes sense. 7,500 bucks on Fanduel, 4,200 dollars on DraftKings. The kid I, I want in, in a lot of my lineups here, and you know what I'm going to say, it's Jalen Guyton. The kid has been outstanding in 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 a limited role here, right? He's like the third third guy, you know, in a wide in a strong wide receiver core. But Justin Herbert, I, I told folks this last year, and I mean it. Once Herbert kind of unlocks this offense, everybody and anybody is in play. Kind of the same way we look at Kansas City. Kind of the same way you know we look at Buffalo, right? I mean that makes sense. So Jalen Guyton, eight grand on Fanduel, only forty eight hundred dollars on DraftKings. And look, I, I have him and Palmer for almost identical targets and receptions here. The only difference is uh, he he loves taking that. Herbert loves to take that deep shot to Guyton. And at least once a game, sometimes two or three times. So here, I'm here to say I firmly believe Guyton grabs a bomb, 50 plus yards. Does he score on it? I don't know. I can only see so much into the future. So when we talk about the the Vegas Raiders wide receivers, Hunter Renfro, Zay Jones, both on the map for me here. Hunter Renfro, 13 grand on Fanduel, little high given you know that the 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 lack of, of, of production as of late here. But Renfro is the wide receiver one in that offense here, eight four on DraftKings, eight targets, five receptions, 65, maybe 70 yards. To me, I love Zay Jones this evening. And when you look at the Chargers, they're fourth overall against opposing wide receivers, but that's cool. Zay Jones has commanded, you know, a a very nice target share the last few games. Zay Jones, nine grand on FanDuel, $6,400 on DraftKings. Brian Edwards, I mean, I don't think that's ever going to be a thing. And that's unfortunate because a lot of folks predicted that or projected it, and it hasn't happened as of yet. But if you look at Jacksonville, Laquan Treadwell, six-year breakout, you know, the, the guy in Miami, Preston Williams, he broke out after like three or four seasons. So anything is possible in season along. Let's keep it right here for DFS. And one more time, Deshaun Jackson, 22.7 yards of reception here. So who's to say, you know, that this guy doesn't have one or two left in the tank here. 7-5 on FanDuel, only $1,400 on DraftKings, looking at two or three targets. I'm thinking one or two receptions, but given his, his, his the the average every time he catches the ball 22.7 one or two receptions at his price tag 1400 bucks on DraftKings very much well worth it when we talk about the tight ends not too much to mention here how I do like Jared Cook I have him highlighted in green which means makes for a nice little pivot uh, Cook 8.5 on FanDuel 5600 dollars on DraftKings the uh, Raiders 27th overall against opposing tight ends here I wish Donald Parham Jr. the best we all saw that that nasty concussion. I believe it was Monday Night Football. He's on IR for the time being. So it's it, it's Jared Cook's show and or Steven Anderson, who's 200 bucks on DraftKings, 6'5 on FanDuel. I'm just not feeling Steven Anderson. I know my propensity for, for tight ends in a single game slate. But this one, it's just about Cook, and that's it. Darren Waller, as far as I know, uh, was on the COVID IR. Hopefully this guy uh, plays here. Maybe that's the one thing I messed up before recording this video, checking it out and seeing if Darren Waller was going to be active. If he is, must play. Chargers dead last against opposing tight ends. Waller, 10-5 on FanDuel, $9,200 on DraftKings, 7-8 targets, 5-6 receptions. I mean, 60-70 yards here uh, if he's active, and I'm not thinking twice. When we talk about the kickers and DSTs, kind of wrap this one up. I've already been talking for about 14 minutes, but again, it's the last Sunday night football of the regular season. I love doing these, and and everybody, and you watching right now, I, I can't thank you enough for 
for watching these. But to me, Dustin Hopkins, Daniel Carlson, uh, you know, of the two, Dustin Hopkins for the Chargers really uh, is really doing something here. 9-5 on FanDuel, $3,600 on DraftKings, and it might just be all the extra points. I have him for uh, two for two field goals, four for four extra points. So you're looking at, you know, what's four plus six? It's 10 points. So you're looking at a nice, a healthy a floor for a kicker here. So give me Dustin Hopkins. And when we talk about the the off, or excuse me, the defenses here, Chargers, 3-8 on DraftKings, Raiders, and even three grand on DraftKings. No interest there because I'll give you my final score here. I believe that this one is going to be tough. It's going to be an outstanding game. But I do believe the Chargers prevail in this one. 34 to 28. When you look at that final score. Nothing set in stone. This is still Sunday afternoon. The game has yet to kick off here. So 34-28, uh, realistically, it could go either way. The Raiders have the 34, and, and what are we doing here? But Raiders, or excuse me, the Chargers will win 34-28. And again, I believe it's it's going to be exciting coming down to the last few minutes of the game here. The Raiders will be driving, having the ball, pushing it down the field. Will there be a turnover on downs? Will there be some sort of interception or ill-advised sack here that Derek Carr takes? So a uh, Shout out to all you Vegas Raiders fans. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best, but I just think the Chargers are going to be a little bit better here tonight. So give me the Chargers, uh, 34 to 28 over uh, over. 49 points here, and that's about it. So before I split, uh, just just make sure you go to Team Riser Fall, like, share, subscribe, and you know the deal. Use promo code 2022, uh, and you're going to get 50% off your first month of premium services here. And before I, I end this thing and get out of here, I can't thank all of you enough for all the support this regular season. Look, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm not going anywhere, but this time next week, we're going to be talking about playoff football. So the regular season DFS videos, in terms of Sunday night ends here right now. So I appreciate all the love and support. I'll see you soon, as soon as probably Monday night football or the NFL playoffs wild card, the wild, wild card weekend, super wild card weekend. I'll talk to you soon. We'll see you later.